that I have of these 10 years are some of the best memories I have. People from North America, Central America, and South America meet together as equals, playing together, making music together, and creating some beauty and harmony together. And all the barriers that exist of language and of geography and temperament and weather and the social strata and all those things that divide us disappear completely in the YOA. I first heard about YOA through the place where I was uh, playing in. It was a youth orchestra foundation. 13 to 20 musicians performing in New York with Placido Domingo. That was the reason I actually did it because they say, hey, Placido Domingo is conducting. I was like, count me in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. I went to a YOA concert in 2003. They went to Belo Horizonte in Brazil. I was amazed. I was like, oh my God, that's the best orchestra I have ever heard. Uh, there was so much energy on that stage. I just told myself, I need to be part of this project. My dreams at the time, I think, were to... I started to evolve towards uh, seeing myself having a career in music, playing a soloist with orchestras, uh, playing as part of orchestras. As a teenager, yes, I had uh, dreams. I had dreams to become a percussionist. I had dreams to play with a great orchestra one day. Those dreams were definitely fulfilled by the YOA experience. And 10 years later, here I am. I did a master's here. I'm now a fellow. That's a dream that I owe YOA. <laughs> so many works with the YOA. I remember and feel them very vividly, performing Prokofiev's Roman Juliet Suite and Bartok Concerto for Orchestra with Gustavo Dudamel. When we had the chance to perform with a great, um, great soloist, um, including, as I remember, performing with Yo-Yo Ma on stage. Um, every and each tour that I had with YOA were incredible. We work it with um, of course, Mr. Carlos Miguel Prieto, which is one of the best conductors in the whole world, and uh, um, Valery Gergiev, uh, Ben Sanders, I think of the new conductors that I work with in my international tours. I remember performing Carmina, Carmina Burana at Teatro Colón. That was also amazing. Then our Slat King, Wolf Rap. That was also just unbelievable. In Italy, the Vatican. Oh my God, I still can't believe I played there. It was one of the most touching experiences ever. Um, Gabriela Montero was super inspiring as well. Just playing the way she does is so inspiring to me, especially as, as a woman and as an artist. You know, kind of an example of something that I can actually do as well. Orchestra, the YOA, because of the impact of the player and the level of performances. Once you go to community and young musicians see the impact of the beauty of creating an amazing sound, an amazing product, you get an impact right away. And also because of the love and, and, and the great atmosphere that the members of the orchestra have, you get to share that with when we go and work with universities and do outreach programs. So that's also a very huge impact that we have into the communities because they they can see that, they can feel that, and that creates also a difference because once you touch it, you want also to have it with you and you want also to reproduce it. And I think that's why why it does. YOA in my own life, it did transform my life. And that actually made me um, create a program 
which is an Uruguay music education program, working on especially the kids who don't have the opportunity of studying in a conservatory because there are only two conservatories in the entire country. In our program, we just you know bring them in and uh, give them the opportunity of having being touched by music. It's just great that this is happening, especially in my country, because classical music, especially, was so behind. And now I see that because this orchestra also, you know, opened their eyes for other people in my country, in the concerts and everything, that we now in my country have a concert hall. Finally, that is great. Yo is a family. It's a great opportunity for people to meet and play with other friends from all over the Americas, to play with great conductors, great solists. It's friendship. Why away is love. I can't, I can't define why away without using the word love. It's much more than an orchestra. It's a, it's a family. Why away for me is absolute pure love for music and for people. Well, it already is the Dream Orchestra project. It's very important that it continue to keep the very high level to enable young musicians to join and to travel with the orchestra, whether they have money themselves or not. So I would like to see that grow and perhaps be taken to more places around the world so that the language of music can become the language of humanity. I wish Ben all the best, and I know he has still much to do with the YOA. And I'm glad he's getting his Life Achievement Award. He's doing a lot of positive things for the arts. Uh, he's a life-changing person, you know, and that makes you want to go higher. He always had time for him. I really remember that every day, and I miss playing with him. You can always look at things uh, in an adverse way, or you can look at things as an opportunity. This is something that uh, he's very right about.